hi friends welcome back to the channel since I'm on my birthday cooking spree I'm gonna be preparing lunch now for the birthday girl I will be making a chicken pot pie and these are all requests from the birthday girl so I have all my fresh ingredients here for the chicken pot pie I'm gonna be adding some green peas some beautiful fresh white mushroom I'm gonna add some cilantro onion fine thyme everything is washed I have here some garlic and carrots I'm um, gonna add one maruri pepper for some heat and flavor and I have some fresh green onions I'm gonna chop everything up and then we'll put together our chicken pot pie These kids when they have a birthday they always request different things and I love it because it gives me an opportunity to make different things. You guys know how happy I am and I always wait for the opportunity for a birthday or anniversary or some kind of occasion just to come into this kitchen and put together some beautiful ingredients and make my family happy. So here I have some chicken thighs finely chopped. I wash it thoroughly, remove the skins, the bone and most of the fat. I'm gonna add some salt in here. You can use chicken breast for this recipe as well, but chicken thighs I find is a little bit more on the juicier side and it don't get dry and tough. So for that reason, I am using chicken thighs today but you can use any part of the chicken as you wish, except for bony part. I'm gonna go in with my black pepper. So now I'm gonna go in and add a little bit of Chinese sauce, and this will add flavor, just about a tablespoon, and it'll also add a nice color on the chicken, and we will just mix our Chinese sauce, salt, and black pepper together. So it can be nicely coated and we'll let it rest until we finish cooking the mushroom. So I have about two tablespoons of butter warming up in my pan. I'm going to add my mushroom and I'll cook the mushroom for a bit. So I'm going to go in with a pinch of salt and that will help to break down the mushroom faster. When you're cooking mushroom, make sure that you get the fresh ones. It really brings out a rich flavor in the dish. And mushroom is high in vitamin D, so it's very good to consume in fall and winter season. So our mushroom is done. It's just cooked in butter and a little pinch of salt, but we're gonna flavor this up more. I'm just gonna remove it from the pan so I can cook the chicken. So in the pan I have a teaspoon of oil and I just added a teaspoon of butter. I'm going to go in with the chicken now. So we're going to mix up the chicken a little and then we'll leave it to cook so all the natural water can evaporate and then we'll come back to add more flavor in here. So our chicken is looking beautiful, all the natural juices is evaporated and I love the color that I'm seeing here right now. I'm going to go in with my green peas because it's frozen. So we want it to cook a little and come to a normal temperature. So I'll mix that in and let it cook for about two to three minutes. So our peas is cooked now. I'm going to go in with my onions. And I love to make chicken pot pie because it's a dish that you're adding layers and layers of flavor and you can add pretty much any ingredients or veggies that you wish. So we're gonna go in with our carrots. I try to use the very, very small carrots because I like when you cut them into 
circles and you can still see, see them in the dish. I'm gonna add my garlic, fine thyme, and our marawiri pepper for flavor. We're gonna give this a nice mix. And this is looking very good. So we're gonna go in now with the mushroom. So the mushroom can pick up some of that beautiful flavor. And since the mushroom have that meaty texture, it's gonna feel like a beautiful meat-filled pie. So our chicken here is looking amazing. The next ingredient we'll go in with is our cilantro. I'm going to add some sour cream in here. You can make a roux for this or you can add sour cream, whichever one you feel to add. But today I'm going to add this nice sour cream. I love sour cream into mine. And I'll leave all the ingredients and measurements I'm using today in the description box below. And I'll go in with another tablespoon of sour cream. We want it to be nice and rich. And it is looking nice, very, very nice. And it smells amazing full with flavors and right at the end of it I'll add my green onions and tell me if you guys are not feeling like making your own chicken pot pie this week it is so hearty so delicious very good for fall and winter kids love them adults love them can work as lunch dinner and any meal that you choose it for so i'm gonna turn my stove off we'll leave it to cool down and then i'll move on to the next step so our mixture is cool off a little i'm gonna add them to my ramekins and we want to go in with a nice amount here And this is very delicious. Right, Ma? Yeah. So now for the finishing touch, we have some puff pastry here. And this is not one that I made because today I'm going to be cooking breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm trying to go the easy way. So I have here a little bowl that will give us a nice cut for the top of our chicken pot pie. And I'm just gonna cut these off. I think this will be the enough for the top. What do you think, Matt? Yeah, I think that's perfect. And let's add it here. Yep, yeah, that is perfect. So that was Matthew's idea for me to use this cutter here. Matthew, you have great ideas. Thank you. And I love sometimes when you request some recipes. They are absolutely beautiful. So I will never say no to any of your ideas or your requests. And then I'll go ahead and do the same until I finish covering all of them. And this will give us a beautiful finish. I hope I get two more out of this. Let me see. I will have to try my very, very best. What do you think, Matt? I can get two more? Yep. If I do the right thing, right? So, that one, not fully covered, that's fine too, right? That's fine. Yeah, that, that looks good. And then there you go. And then what we're going to do now, we will brush these with some eggs on the top because it'll give us a beautiful finish so i have my eggs here all beaten and we're gonna go ahead and give it a nice brush the eggs will give it a beautiful color as well when it's done 
just like that in a 350 degree oven until the pastry is completely cooked about 20 minutes or so and this will be ready for the birthday girl to have her lunch and these are simple quick ingredients that will put a smile on anyone's face at least in my house so right on top we're just gonna sprinkle some sesame seed on top will give us a beautiful finish and I'm gonna do them all I'm already excited to see the finished product because this pastry will puff up nicely and it look beautiful that's it I'm waiting for my oven to be ready now and we'll see you back in 20 to 25 minutes so my chicken pot pie just finished look how beautiful they look on the outside I'm so satisfied and you can hear the sizzling sound because I just pulled them out of the oven look look in here it's still cooking so I'm gonna have to leave them to cool down a bit before I serve the birthday girl her lunch. They are looking very nice and scrumptious. So our chicken pot pie with some stir fry, carrots and broccoli is ready for lunch. This is one delicious plate here. We're gonna dig in and let the birthday girl reveal the taste test. So Natalie, come on down. Natalie's gonna let us know how she liked her birthday lunch her favorite chicken pot pie with some veggies. So Natalie, dig in. Okay. Mm. See that? I hear some crunches going on there. Ooh, Ooh you got a piece of chicken. Go in for it. Mmm. That chicken's really good. Oh my god, this is really good. It's so creamy and the crust is flaky. So make sure to try this recipe. Look inside. Mm -hmm. The inside is so creamy and really good. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you can get our latest videos. Bye for now. Thank you for watching.